I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a way that you can create interesting and highly customizable monochrome effects. And we're not going to do this simply by dropping the saturation to zero. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the RGB mixer palette because the RGB mixer palette down at the bottom has a monochrome checkbox, which if you turn it on, it desaturates the image using the same ratio of red, green, and blue channel information that the saturation control uses back in the color wheels palette. However, the cool thing about using the RGB mixer is I can change the proportion of the red, green, and blue channels that get added together to create this desaturated look. And all I have to do is drag these sliders. In fact, it gets more interesting because I can add more of one color channel or I can subtract a particular color channel to customize the effect. So I happen to know that skin tone has a lot of red, so if I boost the red channel, I'm going to end up lightening the tone of the skin relative to the rest of the image. Likewise, if I drop the red channel, I'm going to darken that skin tone. So however light or dark I want the skin color to appear, I can go ahead and alter that right here. And remember, this is all relative to the background. When you're in a world of monochrome, everything is really relative. Similarly, I can play around with the green channel and you can see as I modify the balance of red, green, and blue, different colors, which obviously no longer display their hue, still get lighter and darker in very specific ways. So by changing these proportions of the color channels, I can get exactly the mix of lightness and darkness that I want to define this particular image. And in the process, I can go ahead and use my curves on top of that to reinforce these tonal decisions that I've made. So if I go ahead and create another version and reset this to the defaults and then toggle back and forth between the different versions, you can see how much of a difference you can make in terms of altering tonality specifically throughout the image. And you can keep going. If I add yet another version, I can rebalance this. And now I have three very different treatments of the image just based on changing the proportion of the color channels. As I mentioned, if you just desaturate, you're only going to get one particular treatment of the image. But using the RGB mixer, you can create multiple treatments. And it's as if you were using colored filters along with black and white photo film. I hope you found that useful. My name is Alexis Van Herkman. Thanks for watching.